For instance, I can think of that picture I've done of some grass, a landscape, that I wanted to put into a frame. I wanted it to be a landscape and look unlike a landscape. Uh, and so I whittled it down and down until in the end there was just a little sketch of grass left which I uh, enclosed in the box. And that really came about by trying to cut away, out of despair, the look of what is called a landscape. I wanted it to be a landscape that didn't look like a landscape. I don't know if, if it at all succeeded. I love this book. All right, let's get back to the assemblage I'm working on. All right. <clears throat> so the last thing that I've done, as you can see, is I basically glued this structure down. And the great thing about assemblage is you sort of got to come up with ways to construct things and try to construct things as light as possible. So I've just used some empty tins. Um, as you can see, this Tower of Pisa formation inside. And then I've just stuck a couple of babies with um, an old vintage watch and some grass. Uh, I'll talk about the symbology of that at the end. Um, and then, you know, I've got it like that. So you, you sort of have a bit of an interesting peephole into the work a little bit, which creates another layer. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take this box and actually wanted to sit this box inside the external box. So I sort of want to have this box within a box effect. I don't know exactly what I'm putting in it yet, but um, I'm actually thinking of putting um, some type of face in here. I guess probably similar to my mummy's face here. Um, putting it in there and wrapping it up. So it's going to be like a face inside a face. And then um, what's going to go around here, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I'm sure it'll come to me. And then you know that'll go over the that'll go over the top, so you'll be able to just see get like get a glimpse of the exterior, but the box will be the focus. And what I like about it is it it actually the way that you look at it. Um, let's see if I can explain this a bit better. The way you when you look at the box, because you've got this line here which sort of cuts it up cuts it off it sort of creates a bit more interest because then you know you want to see what's actually what's hiding up here or you know what is there there's this there's this thing where your eyes can actually explore and that's the cool thing about assemblages is and I guess for me that's why I love working you know how you see some assemblage artists they create uh, like Greg Hansen for example most of his box assemblages are basically 2D in the fact, oh well, no, they're not all 2D, but some of them are 2D where he's just laying images, flat images on top of flat images um, to create his layering. Um, and I love that. But for me, for my own person, the way I could create boxes is, or any of my assemblages, I like to have like a 3D element to it. I like them to be sculptures within sculptures. You know what I mean? I, I need to see a form. I, I get excited when I, be, when I see a form where I can actually think that I could actually hold it or touch it or feel it. Or, you know, I want to have, have a look at it rather than seeing a 2D flat surface. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing really to get behind it then. Um, I guess it's maybe more of a tactile thing that I'm after. It. So I just wanted to talk about the external appearance of the box so far. Um, I don't think there's going to, I'm going to be doing too much more to the exterior because I think there's enough going on. There's enough interest. Um, and, you know, the main focus obviously of the box is going to be on what's contained inside the top here. But, um, you know, there's enough interest here and with the eyes to sort of give you that visual you know, that first visual appeal. So, um, I don't think I'm going to do anything more to that. So now I'm going to start working on uh, the interior. And um, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to age this box a bit. 
I may put some foil in it and put some bitumen over it and age it a bit and well I don't know yet that's my intention but it depends once I start playing I will um, see what happens but um, yeah let's do it well I've uh, been playing around for about I don't know almost two hours now just playing with different ideas and <laughs> I've sort of come up with several different ideas but um, I'm quite liking the one that I've come up with at the moment um, and that is I've um, taken this little um, antique well I don't even know if I know it's antique but I got it from an antique store it's a little teapot um, that you put tea leaves in and um, it came with a little tray as well so what I'm thinking of doing is um, is suspending it from this box and all I've put inside the box is um, some of these ornate uh, this, this magical door up here, this blue one and this gothic archway is sort of overlaid um, so what I'm thinking of doing is that's, I've just put the foam there to stop it from scratching the surface but it's going to be hanging um, it's going to be hanging up like that and um, I'm going to cut some holes in the top so the light from this little LED um, battery pack shines down and shines on top of the teapot and then I'm going to suspend the plate well I think so, just underneath it just a fraction and um, so yeah when it comes together that's actually going to sit a bit higher up and then it's going to be framed in there and um, I might put a few other things in the box as well but um, I'm quite liking that idea at the moment I think um, and what I'll do is I'll just cut a hole in the top at the back so you can change the batteries when uh, when they get flat and um, how you switch it on and off it's got like a little magnet that you you can stick on the top and then when you take the magnet away it um, the light goes out um, but um, I've got to find where I've put the magnets now <laughs> But that's what I think I'm going to do. I think. I'm going to play around with a few more other ideas and see what I came up with. I had originally, my original plan was to put a mask in there. This little face. And I had that. I had this face inside here as well. Um, but I'm somehow liking the teapot. So we'll see. One thing assemblage um, one thing when you're making assemblage is you really have to be inventive and you really have to come up with ways to solve problems. Um, and um, you know it may take you a while, which it's taken me a while to decide what I want. But I think I'm pretty happy with this design. Um, so I've, I've just cut a hole in the top that shines the light through. I'll just turn this light off so you can sort of see it, how it comes down. Um, so basically I'll glue all this down and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be suspended like that with this light in there. Um, so yeah, I think that's good. And I'll see what it looks like. Put that, that back picture back up. I think it's pretty. And then I'm going to have this bingo thing hanging from there. Put that on top. I have is truly mine. There's nothing I have is truly mine.